<sighs> cold in here. What is the temperature outside? Oh, it's 30 degrees. All right, uh, back to work. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is work on the base. What I'm doing is putting little breaks in the, the rock, little cracks. Uh, up here in Montana, we have a lot of uh, volcanic type rock and and rock that uh, looks something like these. And uh, so you kind of do what you think. Which you know, I can get my big rubber tool. I've never tried it with this type of thing before, but uh, I'd be kind of interested to see what happens. Yeah. In case you're wondering, this is the clay shaper, and it's a round, pointed end. Um, people who watch my videos a lot know these things because uh, I talk about my tools all the time. Yeah, well, I just put a little crack right there. And I'm not going to put a lot of rocks on the base. I just want to make it interesting. You don't want to put too many because it has to be cleaned in the, uh, after they make the ceramic mold of the uh, wax and they melt the wax out you get what is called investment and that's leftover ceramic material in deep crevices and if they have to spend time cleaning those deep crevices out and they can't get it with the uh, sandblaster then they gotta do it by hand and if they gotta do it by hand it takes time and it costs money after they uh, break the ceramic mold off of the finished bronze the ceramic mold is a destructible mold and uh, so it's uh, going to invest itself in the deep crevices and uh, so you can still have without compromising your work the crevices but you just round them and when you round those crevices with a, like a tool like this um, the investment just pops right out because there's nothing for it to hang on to all I'm doing is cleaning up the edge with this knife you don't want to make the base more elaborate than the subject you want people to look at this, not the base. The base is complementary to the piece, but it shouldn't overpower the piece. This is where the thumb starts hurting. Oh, hurt, hurt. mark instead of the base.
if you remember, I'm supporting the front hoof with a piece of clay under it, but I've done it in such a way that it makes it look like the hoof is off the ground and not attached. And I needed that extra support in the bronze stage because uh, I had two points of contact here, but I needed a third to, to make it so that the bronze won't bend. Uh, bronze is a soft metal and uh, if you put too much weight on a thin leg it will bend the bronze and the bronze will eventually just start leaning over. So I'm trying to avoid that. Try to do it a little more artistically and something that doesn't cost a fortune to reproduce too. Okay, I'm going to put the edge of the rock right here. Put that right up against the hoof right there. That'll just add just a little bit more support to it. All right, I'm going to call it quits for this weekend. And uh, I've got to get over to my studio. I'm meeting a couple of guys that are coming over to help me move stuff around in my back room. I'm getting ready to move back in there. And uh, i got some stuff in the back that I need moved around and some help doing it. And they're going to meet me over there in just about uh, 30 minutes. So... I'm going to call this quits for now and uh, get over there. And I'll pick this up uh, next week. But you're getting an idea of what it's going to look like. And then i got to figure out where I'm going to sign it. And uh, I'll probably sign right there. Or there. But it's looking pretty good. It's starting to look like a mountainside. I'm not going to get carried away with the rocks. Uh, but I think it's going to be okay. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week. And I know I'll finish it next week. I thought I'd do it this week. <laughs>